What should we do? I don't even know, but yeah. Wait, right. wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's just, it's, from it's, our oh my god, you know. it's like, why <laughs> I swear guys, that intro gets me every time, I just had to put it in the video, <laughs> alright, so hey guys, and welcome to the channel, um, I'm going to be talking about the White Emperor Palace today, I'll try to make this video as detailed, but not too long or boring. The White Emperor Palace is a new event that replaces the Yakuza Peak event and it's once every week, that's every Friday. It gives way better rewards than the previous Yakuza event, I don't know, or maybe it's just cause that was the first time, you know, maybe it's based on lunch, but who knows? To register for this event, you need to be online on or before 8pm, right? So the registration starts from 8pm to 5 minutes to 9 server time. You have to be online 20.00 server time to 20.55 server time and register within that period. Any minute after that and you'll be unable to enter this event. Once you've registered with a team, you cannot switch to another team. You have to enter with that team. That means you have to stay in that team till the event starts. You can register as a solo player or you can go as a full squad. But I would advise you go solo though. Yeah, you're definitely gonna regret if you go solo, honestly. Unless you're strong enough to face a whole horde of other players. Yes, there'll be other players in this event. Yes, you're definitely free to go AFK in this event. But um, you definitely do not get any reward from that. Unless you letting your teammates, that's if you're in squad, and you go AFK, you're gonna allow your teammates to do all the work for you. And I don't think there's any team member that would appreciate that. The White Emperor event is divided into two parts. The first being the local server, and the second being the cross server event. The local server event starts at 9 p.m. server time and lasts 15 minutes. The cross server one begins shortly after that at 9.25 p.m and last 20 minutes. Now I've broken this event into 8 parts. They include the map, the points, monsters, bosses, chests, keys, parts and phases of the event. The map is this icon on the left side of your screen. Teammates are shown in yellow. Teammates with keys are shown as keys on the map. Chest as shown, well, in chest form, <laughs> and enemies are shown in green. Team points are very important in the game as they determine the rewards you get. They are shown at the upper part of your screen and you can get these points from killing monsters and bosses, from opening chests and from getting keys. Now there are normal monsters, special monsters and bosses. Normal monsters are spread out around the map, they give you 2 points for each normal monster you kill. Special monsters sometimes are spawned randomly, they include statues and some other special monsters. Killing these special monsters can give you any points ranging from 200 to 400 points. Finally are the bosses, the bosses spawn mainly at the center of the map and I am not exactly sure how many points they give but I'm sure they give quite a lot of points. <laughs> Chests are distributed to various locations and you can see the icon for it on your map. They give you rainy points ranging from 50 to 400 points, so focus more on this. <laughs> there are three types of keys and based on rarity we have the silver key, the gold key and the chosen keys, with the chosen keys being the rarest and the silver key being the most common. Now each key gives points based on their rarity. How do you get the keys? The keys can be gotten from killing special monsters, boss monsters and from opening chests. Chosen keys in particular are only gotten from killing special monsters and bosses. Also you can get chosen keys from killing other players that have the chosen keys. So once any of your teammates has the chosen key, I advise you protect that teammate. <laughs> and I think this is where choosing the right classes might come into being. Like I said, 
player killing is allowed in this particular event but you do not gain any point at all from killing any other player uh, the only thing you actually might gain is probably the satisfaction of killing a player you don't like i don't know <laughs> anyway the only time i would advise you go for player killing is maybe when you're fighting for a chest or when you see a player with a key icon above their head that means they have a chosen key so they can actually lose that key and you can have the key when you kill that type of player another player accepts that it's not really advised as it'd be a waste of your time and theirs Remember I said there are two parts, the local server and the cross server. Now there are phases as well. Bruh. And this event is divided into three phases. The first phase is called the trial phase, the trial of courage. This is a phase where players are required to have at least a silver key. And you, for this you will see the requirements right above your screen or at the right side of your screen. Once a player or a team has this requirement, has met this requirement, your team can move on to the next phase. The second phase is the trial of faith. Over here, your team is required to have at least one gold key. Have the one gold key and reach the point requirements and you can move on to the third trial. The third and last trial is the final trial. Your requirement here is to obtain a crystal key. Now I'm not exactly sure how this works but if I'm to lay a guess I'll probably say it's based on the top 3 teams of the server. So top 3 teams are based on points and I've already mentioned how to get those points in this video. The crossover part of this event is very similar to the local server. The only difference is you're doing it with players from well different servers. <laughs> So do the same thing and you'll be fine. Remember the cross server opens at 9.25 p.m. server time. A quick summary and closing tip. Kill statues, special monsters and protect the team key carriers. Those are what will help you get to the next stage. Don't waste time on killing other players except they have the key or chosen key that you require. Chests are very important. Open as many chests as you can. If possible, designate a reaper or a player to open the chest. But make sure you try and keep your players close so they don't, you know, get killed and have to respawn and start looking for you all over again. <laughs> like many other events such as Tide of Gods and Battlegrounds, other Battlegrounds, choose the class you use for this event properly. Choose the one that you feel will help your team more. Finally, and the most important tip is please subscribe to the channel <laughs> because why not? What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe icon and like the video. Have fun, enjoy the game and good luck. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.